uh, you know, I mean, well, you look, Jesus did say, the poor you will have with you always. And he probably said it because, yeah, we're all going to goof off and sing music and dance and not fix the whole poor problem, you know. So, the hell with the damn poor, let's have a party, you know. And, uh, yeah, well, whatever, religion. Uh, what can I say? I mean, I'm not, I, I'm an atheist. And uh, these are all religious shows, but that's what's on TV. I mean, that's, that's public access TV. The only people who have something to say are the religious people. I don't know why that is, but that's the way it is. But maybe it's just because they, you know, they have the whole organization thing happening, so, you know, they can put the three or four people together to actually put this together. But, you know, that's a good band for a church. I mean, I would go to that church. I mean, if I was going to go to a church, that's the church I'd go to. I mean, get rid of those two guys, but, the, you know, that chick band could stay. That works. So, I mean, there you go. I kept watching this one just because, you know, it was actually entertaining, except for these two guys. Incredibly gay. Come on, you, know, you get the camera off them. Gee, too bad the camera guy doesn't get it. You know, those aren't the the appeal. That's not the attraction. No, it's over to your left. Come on, move the camera over. Move the camera over. <sighs> really irritating. No, that's not the one. No, the other. There you go. Now you got it right. There you go. So you just keep the camera on those three chicks, and uh, then you'll get lots of people to show up to your church. And then you can make even cooler rock videos. And do God's work through electric guitar. Makes sense to me. Well, a little bit of sense. Well, maybe not much sense, but you know, like I said, I'm not a religious person. And so this was the minister guy for the Church of the Hills, which, you know, well, he doesn't, it's not really happening. Uh, <laughs> you know, doesn't really go with the entertainment. You know, kind of funny that the entertainment doesn't match the, uh, the sermonizing. So, come on, that is enough. Let's go. What's behind the, I don't, can't even see, because my thing here, so who knows what he was talking about. I don't remember what he was talking about. Um, but, you know, it's always the same stuff. It's, you know, story one, story two, story three, you know, prodigal son, uh, kill your brother, blah, 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 you know, same old stuff, over and over and over. Uh, uh, except maybe this is one of those churches where, yes, we're all intended, God intends us all to be rich, and uh, if we pray to God, we will be rich, and that will be our reward for praying to God, will be success and rich. And uh, that might be what he's talking about here, but who knows? Come on, enough of you. There we go. Uh, this is Shiloh, you know, whatever. Uh, this, this is really, you know, bad sermonizing at its worst. I mean, she's giving this why are we here speech, and then she just spends the whole next hour, well, it seemed like an hour, uh, talking about what an accomplished person she is and how the rest of us are all a bunch of loafers. And, uh, you know, uh, we're not doing God's work because we're not accomplished. And we didn't have a job with, you know, IBM as a phone representative. And, uh, you know, well, you yeah, know, whatever. I mean, public access TV. I mean, if you're gonna, if you're gonna stick her face out there, then she's gonna have to accept that, okay, I'm gonna say, gee, you're full of yourself, lady, and, uh, you know, you really missed the God vote, I think, because you don't have that special thing called humility. Uh, you know, you obviously haven't sacrificed your ego to uh, follow Jesus. Um, come on, but enough of you now. Let's move on. Yes, why am I here? Blah, 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 blah. You know. Like I said, she just goes on and on talking about, yeah, you are here to listen to me. That's what you're here. And this is a commercial for uh, wrestling, right? Okay.
Public Access Channel, and uh, oh yeah, well it's Patriot Media, so they can sell their own stuff, and they're sort of selling their wrestling channel. Ah, now this is a great show. Okay, shut up, dog. Uh, today's Child. Okay, and it's a show. I don't know how many versions of this show there are. This is the only one I've seen. Is this? You know, they go to a baby fair, and so they're just promoting a bunch of products. So it's a public access show, and that's supposed to be commercial, and they're just promoting products. And what are they promoting? Uh, oh, this silly woman wrote a book on, 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 on uh, potty parties. I think that's what she, yeah, she trained, you know, she wrote a book on potty training. And, and her whole um, um, scheme is that you just, you know, it's easy to potty train if you just create it and turn it into an event. So you decorate your house like, you know, uh, you know, castles and moats and everything, going into the bathroom, <laughs> and you'll make it such an adventure that kids will just love to be potty trained. Um, I don't see what's wrong with just locking them in the bathroom and say, "Look, do your business like everybody else. Grow up already." Well, what's the mystery? Uh, this was really great. This is a a breast milk extractor, and and. Uh, uh, it's pretty scary stuff. I mean, you know, they shouldn't have a, should have a warning, you know, guys might not want to see this commercial, uh, scare you a little bit. Um, but the funny part was, you know, he says, well, she says to him, oh, can you demonstrate it? <laughs> so you really thought they were going to, you know, who knows what was going to take place. But no, there really was no demonstration. Uh, so we're back to uh, the church and religion again. Uh, this is Mount Zion in worship, and uh, you know it's uh, look, it's a black church. Okay, yeah, typical. I mean, it's just a cliche. Haven't we all seen it already? We all heard it. Yes, you start off nice and soft, and you talk.